welcome back to another weekly vlog. Um, no, you do not need to adjust your screens. Yes, I am this sunburned. <laughs> uh, Aiden had a ball game today and um, I was just sitting in the sun and I was like, bring it on. I wanted the sun. I haven't hardly gotten any sun. Um, if you watched last week's, I think it was actually two weeks ago vlog, I was kind of talking about just the rain and the the season kind of just getting me down a little bit and I just needed the sun. Like, it was good for my soul. Now, it's a little painful at the moment, but it was good for my soul. I feel really good. So anyways, now we are down at the camp and we are just enjoying the evening. Ah, I got sweat bee trying to get me. Um, and some of our friends came down with us and they're swimming too. And we're fixing to make some hamburgers and just grill out and enjoy this beautiful 90 plus degree day and um, just kick off our weekend right with some sun and some fun and some swimming and hamburgers and baseball. Like you can't get much more American than that or summer. So anyway, um, thank you guys for coming along on this week with me and I hope you enjoy this vlog. All right, I'm here. Just wait a second. You know how when you tell yourself you get sunburned, you're like, oh, it's not that bad. It's that bad. <laughs> like I've been out all day and so I'm like, oh, you know, yeah, okay. And everyone I see, they're like, oh my gosh, every time I see you, you're like redder and redder. Um, so we're home and I'm fixing to take a shower and like, it's pretty bad. Like I don't hurt hurt. Um, this side's definitely worse. The sun was like, it was like 10 a.m. So the sun was coming from this direction. I really wish I would have turned. So it was like full face. I was bright enough to wear my visor. So my face isn't sunburned, which is usually a huge, um, downfall of mine. I usually get my face very sunburned. Um, that's why I have this really horrible sunspot. I don't know if you've ever really noticed it, but see here, I have this sunspot, um, that just... Yeah, never went away. <laughs> it's, I've had it for several, several years. Um, anyways, so I'm trying to be better about not getting my face burnt. Um, you know, I like getting my body at least tan. Um, but yeah, the, I felt this burn coming on. But yeah, it's always worse. And wait, I gotta go backwards to see my feet. I had flip flops on, but I kept taking them off. But somehow it still burnt my feet in a stinking flip flop line. But oh, there we go. That's the best way to see it. Yeah, I'm a little bit of a lobster today, but that's fine. I'm gonna take a shower. Most of it will just wash off in the shower and I'll just be fine. All right, one last thing and then I'll be done and get in the shower, but I just took my watch off. <laughs> that's hilarious, I'm sorry. Like I saw it earlier, but that's so funny to me. It's so bad. I had a necklace on, my um, sign language necklace. It's in my pocket. <laughs> Um, but I did think to take it off. Sorry, it's hooked on my pocket knife. Oh, there it goes. Um, but I have actually had a sunburn before <laughs> where I had a big white bar across there because I had this necklace on and <laughs> it left a big white bar across my collarbone right here. So it was actually funny. But anyway, I did have the wherewithal to think like, oh, take your necklace off so you don't have that weird not line. But I didn't take my watch off. <laughs> so... There's that. I wonder. Oh my goodness. I'm going to take my earrings off. Hang on. <laughs> oh. Uh, I'm already laughing. Oh my gosh. Look. <laughs> my dear lobes. Oh my gosh. I think part of it is from kind of being squeezed because they're such big earrings, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <Why do> you... <laughs> oh my gosh. That's hilarious. Okay. I'm, I think I'm like sun silly. So I'm going to, I'm going to take a shower now. So I just took my earrings off. I can't see, but... <laughs> White earlobes. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Can you tell? I'm like backlit because of the yeah, light. Yeah, oh, here, let me stand right here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> I'm like laughing so hard about it. Uh, all right, see, out of the shower, all better, all washed away. Just kidding, of course. Uh, but no, I wanted to show you this. I do swear by this stuff. It is so good. Uh, my cousin Kyle, who like literally got blisters one time, so bad sunburnt, um, used this and introduced us to it. And we've been using it ever since. And it for real helps with peeling. Um, it soothes it very quickly. So anyway, I highly recommend this banana boat moisturizing after sun lotion. So um, if you're looking for something good, not sticky, it actually like it's already on my skin and soaked in and I had a thick white layer on there. Um, but yeah, it soaks in super fast and it feels amazing. Like it, it soothes quickly and it just, it helps in the long run. So being faithful to put this on for the next couple of days will help a ton. So give it a try. If you are in the market for something, I highly recommend. I didn't even look down, but it's still as thick on my leg as it was on my arm. So it's, it soaks in like from that to nothing super fast. And it's like not greasy. I don't know how to show you. It's not greasy, but it feels good. Anyway, just wanted to show you that. Happy Sunday. Uh, it is in the afternoon. I don't even know what time it is at this point. Uh, four o'clock in the afternoon and we are fixing to go floating down the river. Um, we're here with my cousins. Um, Scotty and my other cousin just went to drop off the truck. But we're going to take our kayaks down the creek. I'm so excited. This will be the first time for sure in one year, maybe two years. I can't remember the last time we went um, floating, but I'm so stinking excited to get down the river and just get away and chill and just have a really good time. So, oh, I still have my church earrings on. I forgot to take them out. Uh, we got ready in a hurry because we it was a last minute decision to go. But anyways, yeah, we're excited. Uh, I'll try and film a little bit along the way, but it's not the easiest thing to have my phone out um, on the water, so. Are you still on my phone? No, there's Riley. I need to turn it on like panoramic. Yeah, we're about to go fast. Uh, not yet. You're good. Oh wait, I need to get my life jacket. Oh yeah, go find it. Maybe I can just float to my phone. On your board. Try not to go to side or side. Just Aiden. Go straight down. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like she should go further over. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lose your sunglasses over there. Well, Riley's yeah. making a video. Don't look over there. Push her, Kyle. Push her. No! <laughs> hey, that was good. Was that fun? Good job. Yeah, that, that's slippery. <laughs> I was recording that. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> you better get going. <laughs>
<laughs> nice. Ready? Come coming with his phone? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm going. <laughs> It's a kid's activity, apparently. Hey guys, uh, it's super late in the evening. I don't even, it's almost midnight actually. Yeah, it's almost midnight. Um, but I was just fixing to go to bed and I was wanted to pop on here because I wanted to say I was thinking about my weekend and I was thinking about so many things unexpected happened this weekend. Um, you know, I knew I was going to a ball game, but, and I knew I was going to get a little sunburnt, but I didn't know I was going to get crispy fried <laughs> and so sunburnt. Um, it just came on really, really fast and that's fine. I'm always fine with the sunburn. Um, and then what else did we do yesterday? Oh, we just hung out with our friends and then we ended up going down to the lake. Um, and that was a lot of fun. So that was unexpected. And then today we decided to go kayaking. So that was unexpected. And that was also very fun. Um, sorry, strawberries drinking water. She is the noisiest water drinker in the entire world anyways um but then when we got home from kayaking um i was making a salad um i was actually going to film it because it's kind of like dinner tonight but meal prep for me for the rest of the week because it's a huge bowl of salad and i was chopping up the lettuce and i cut the tip of my finger off <laughs> okay not the whole tip and not off off um, but it's like the real fatty part on like the side of my ring finger right here. And I was just chopping away and the head of lettuce slipped and the knife just went right through my finger. And like I grabbed it immediately and I knew it was cut, but it was really sharp knife. So it didn't like hurt, hurt. Um, and so then I grabbed a paper towel. Scotty was right here, <laughs> right beside me. Um, and so I grabbed a paper towel and I put the paper towel on it. Um, but like when I let go with my thumb, the pressure I had put on it, the blood like immediately started to flow and it's way worse than I initially like immediately thought it was. Um, and it's, it's barely hanging on by a thread, but it's, it's still on there. And surprisingly, it's not like killing me now it hurts. And it's kind of throbbing off and on. Sorry, this cabinet door is open and it's making me crazy out of the corner of my eye. Um, anyways, um, so it, it hurts, but it, it's not as bad as it looks because we have an enormous piece of gauze on there under that. Um, but like I said, it's almost midnight. But Scotty went hunting with a friend tonight, um, armadillo hunting, like nuisance hunting. Um, so he's not back yet and I can't take this off by myself <laughs> cause I think I'll probably pass out. Um, and sorry, I just got a text message. I thought it was going to be Scotty. Um, anyways, I, I can't do this by myself. I need Scotty to be here to like, make sure I don't pass out. I, I'm really weird about blood. Like I can handle a whole lot of issues, but for some reason I don't do the best with blood. I just don't like one time when I was a teenager, I pierced my friend's ear and it bled and bled and bled. And I about passed out. I know why I do know why, because when I was in high school, I donated blood at the blood drive and um, I started feeling a little woozy and they're like, that's fine. It's normal. We'll just lay you back. And when they laid me back, the hose caught on the little tray and ripped it out of my arm and blood went everywhere. <laughs> and since then I have not done well with blood. Um, Anyways, like y'all need to know all of that, but so yeah, I can't change this bandage by myself. I want to put like a more normal thing on there than this massive, um, you know, 
beehive looking thing. I can, I, it's midnight. I'm tired. I was waiting on Scotty, but he hasn't, um, made it home yet. So anyway, I need help changing my bandage. So other than being severely sunburned and cutting the tip of my finger off, it's been an amazing weekend. <laughs> so <laughs> I know that's so silly, but, um, my makeup's crazy. Anyways, it's been such a fun weekend. We have really, really, really had a wonderful weekend. And it's like a lot of times there's not enough hours in the day for the weekend and all that stuff. But I feel like it was a nice, rich, long, special weekend. And I'm, I really needed one of those. So it was good. I hope you guys had as amazing of a weekend as I did um, and enjoyed every minute of it because we got to go back to work tomorrow. Wah, wah. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. So... For now, I'm gonna go brush my teeth, take my contacts out, go to bed. Good night. Go, Riley. There you go, Riley. Is that bad? Let's go, Flippo. Let's go, Aiden. Come on, Aiden. Yeah. Yes. Hey, guys. Happy Wednesday. I am sitting down at the camp. We're down here for church tonight. The kids are all swimming and boating and fishing and all those things over there. So I figured I would take a minute when I finally have had a chance to have a minute this week um, to just chat with you guys for a minute but um, so one thing I really wanted to talk to you guys about was um, Monday night was our girls softball game and it was such a good game and it was a crazy game because there was some bad calls made and our girls got angry and then they snapped right back out I'm so proud of them for coming to their senses and not having bad attitudes about it and not getting mad about it and just coming back and winning the dang game. And it was so exciting and so fun. But um, on top of that, Riley hit a home run. And so that was super exciting. Um, that was her first ever that I know of home run. And it was almost a grand slam. Like we had the bases loaded and then a girl got out at third. And so, but it was a three run home run. So it was so, so exciting. But anyway, so that was a fun night. And then Aiden played last night. They played so hard. Um, but they did not come out with a win, unfortunately. Um, it was so hot last night. Oh, my word. Um, and we had, um, Riley had a dentist appointment yesterday, so I took off work early to take her to that. And then we were at the ballpark all night long. Aiden's game was at 6. We ended at like 7.30. And we stayed up there till 10 o'clock. <laughs> after 10 o'clock, actually. Because the high school boys played after us, so we watched them. And then the junior high girls played and so we watched them so we kind of were going back and forth and everything but we're gluttons for punishment i guess because we could have gone home and had an early night but we chose to stay at the field and watch more baseball and softball but anyway we we love it and it's going to be over soon because this weekend's tournament and then we'll miss it so we might as well get it while we can um my finger is healing nicely just an update my string sticking up there has been bothering me all day. Um, I took the bandage off last night and the skin's like black because it's dead. But that means I need to get it off of there. But I can barely even change the bandage without passing out. So who knows what's going to happen. Um, tomorrow Riley has a softball game with the high school team. Um, and so that'll be our first game to watch her play with the high school team. So I'm really excited about that. So Anyway, all that being said, um, I just wanted to film here because those flowers are really beautiful. You got it, Riley. Put in the guest. Come on, Riley, say you can. Ah. 
Come on, Riley. Confidence right here. It's close. There yes. Good job, Riley. Good hustle, Riley. Hey guys, happy Thursday. Uh, we just got done with Riley's very first ever high school softball game. So that was really uh, a really weird feeling, I, th I think. I don't know how to say it that way, but um, we were talking about it on the way down there. This is our first ever game to watch as parents since her very first year of playing softball. She had a different coach, but, um, or did she, did, we, did she have a coach for two years? Yeah. Before we started coaching? Nevertheless, we've been coaching her team for a very, very long time. And so even at Aiden's game, I keep score at Aiden's game. And so like we're always doing something, we're like involved in the game. And so this was our very first game to just sit and watch as spectators, as parents. So it was kind of interesting. So, but she hit, she played right field and she caught. So um, right field is not her normal position at all, but um, I think it was just to get her out there. Oh, and she did a pinch run. He ran for somebody one time too. So anyway, now we are gonna go, oh, it's right there. We're gonna go to Hardy's and eat dinner with some of our friends, um, her friend, my friend, my best friend, um, and just spend a little bit more time with them before we have to go home. It's like an hour and a half from home. So um, we got a little bit of a trek to get back home. So we are starving. We're gonna eat, uh, rehydrate. Scotty is like, I need to, rehydrate so um i had water but it's gone so i'm thirsty too it's hot what was it when we got there 92 degrees i think yeah. and then yeah. yeah it was so 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 hot so anyway and my sunburn's peeling nicely not nicely i don't like my sunburn to peel okay anyway we're pulling into the restaurant That's so steep. Go, bro. There he goes. Yeah. Awesome. His shirt says fly, so I kind of expect him to fly. <laughs> I got it on video. Ah, oh, no hander. <laughs> Happy Friday. Uh, I am out here at Bentonville Bike Fest with my family. Uh, there they all are. Uh, but it's actually an event for work. So we're, we knocked off early today at 2.30 and they're like, everybody come out to Bentonville Bike, bike Fest and have fun. So it's just a local event with uh, all kinds of bikes. Um, I've been trying to film this course behind me. They're doing stunts and tricks and jumps. Is there someone on there right now? Yeah. I can't see it in the camera. So anyway, they're coming down this chute and then doing awesome tricks and then there's more over here and then there's like this trials course right here. We're hoping to catch one of the shows for it um, before we have to leave, but we're only gonna get to stay here for an hour because Aiden has a baseball game at six, but we gotta be there early, of course. So anyway, yeah, we're having a lot of fun. So I'm gonna try and catch as much footage as I can. Uh, one of my girls from work was like, oh, there's, that's John, the guy from work that was doing tricks that, that J James was talking about. Um, anyways, the girls from work wanted to be in it. So if I find them again, I'll probably vlog again just so they can be in it. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'm gonna just kind of keep trying to show you guys around a little bit. It's pretty hot out here, uh, but we already got some free lemonades. So anyway, fun so far, but it's hot.
Oh, one right after the other, though. Yeah! Whoa! Woo! That was a good show. like 10 15 so after the bike fest thing that we went to earlier today we had to get to the school because Aiden had a baseball game um and so he pitched a really good game he struck out two batters so that was really cool and then he had a lot of strikes just in general so um it was just a really good game they didn't win unfortunately but it was good they rallied at the end and came back and got a couple of points but Anyways, uh, so then we ran to town and had dinner and then went to Walmart and picked up some things. And I'll show you some of them here in a second. But um, I wanted some fresh foods for my girls to eat tomorrow. And then, of course, Aiden in between games. Um, and so I got some fruits and sandwiches. And let me just show you. All right, so I got a big old watermelon. I'm going to cut it up and put it in bowls. And then I got a couple of these sandwiches, and I'm just going to cut them into pretty small pieces. I think I'm going to get like six out of each sandwich. Um, that way it's just some nice, fresh, good, hearty food in between games. Um, and then Aiden just wanted one of these. I don't, it was gold. He's, I don't know, he thought it looked great. So I figured I'd grab him one of those for his game. Just this to have with the sandwiches. I already have a small mustard, so I didn't pick one of those up. Um, and then just some carrots and some sugar snap peas just to have some, a little bit of veggies. And then I've got oranges. I'm going to like quarter or like, you know, section them up, um, with the rind on and just throw them into a Ziploc bag. Um, I'll wash these grapes and throw them in the freezer. Um, several years ago, one of the girl's parents did frozen grapes and Riley loved it. And so, um, it's going to kind of double as an ice pack and a snack. So I'll throw these in the freezer after I get them, um, washed up and taken off the vine. And then over here, I've already started washing my strawberries. And then I remembered I was going to show you guys. So I'm going to take the stems off the strawberries and just throw them into, um, a bowl, probably not one of these bowls. Cause these are going to probably take both of these for the watermelon. Um, but something similar to that. And then what else did we get from the store? Um, we got some coffee cause we were almost out. That's the end of our coffee there. Um, so we just got some more of the Walmart brand, great value brand. Um, and then Scotty loves the Pete's. We don't get it too often cause it's a lot more expensive, but it's a nice treat to get Pete's treats, 
Pizza's a treat. Yes. Okay. Um, and then what else did we get? Um, we grabbed a couple of these because when we went kayaking last weekend, um, we just put our phones in some Ziploc bags and it worked fine, but this has like a hole so you can like tether it to our kayaks. So if we do happen to tip, we won't lose them and yeah, uh, and it's waterproof and everything. And then we just need some trash bags. And that's about it. We did get, oh, some chips. Aiden wanted chips. So I picked up some Doritos and then a couple other things. I don't even remember what we else we got. I know we got ice and it almost completely melted by the time we got home, but Scotty's already got the water in the cooler all iced down. Um, and then I'm going to put all this food stuff in another cooler. So I'm going to go ahead and get off of here because I still have to take care of all of this food and then go edit this video and get it uploaded. So it's going to be a long evening for me. We got to be back up at the field at seven o'clock. No, I don't know why I keep saying seven, eight o'clock tomorrow morning. Um, and then we have tournaments throughout the day tomorrow. So, so anyway, that is going to do it for this vlog. I hope you have enjoyed coming along on this week with us. It's been a very hodgepodge week of a whole bunch of different things. Um, but it's been a really good week. We started off with, um, ball and then kayaking and just all the things. And it's been just a really, really good week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give me a like, leave me a comment down below what you enjoyed about this vlog or what, what you would like to see in future vlogs. And, um, of course, as always, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, once fall season's over, I'll get back to doing more regular uploads throughout the week. Um, but as always, you're going to get these weekly vlogs, but anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and go. So I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.